Hi! Welcome to 7 Facts. Here you'll find the most awesome collection of facts about every single country on Earth. In today's video we'll talk about Australia's Cocos Keeling Islands, but remember that there's a playlist containing the rest of the series. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I upload 3 times a week, every week. Cocos Keeling Islands is an Australian external territory lying in the Indian Ocean, roughly midway between Australia and Sri Lanka. Just to clear things up, because I know you're wondering, the territory's dual name only reflects that the islands have historically been known as either Cocos or Keeling. There are 27 coral islands, split between two atolls, of which only two are inhabited by roughly 600 people. Most are Cocos Malays and live on Home Island, where they represent the absolute majority, while on West Island most people have a European descent. These islands were discovered in 1609 by William Keeling, but remained completely uninhabited until the early 19th century. John Clooney's Ross, a Scottish merchant, was one of the first settlers of the islands, much of the island's current population is descended from the Malay workers he brought in to work his copra plantation. By 1857, the islands were annexed by the British and for the next century were officially administered by either Ceylon, now known as Sri Lanka, or Singapore. It wasn't until 1955 that Cocos Keeling was transferred to Australia. Let's get back to that first settler, John Clooney's Ross, because he had an interesting life. He was basically a self-made king. John was a merchant originating from the Shetland Islands in Scotland. In 1813 he was in Timor on board a whaler, when he received the opportunity to become captain of the brig Olivia. Reportedly, he first cruised the waters of the then uninhabited Cocos Islands in 1825. After surveying them, he moved his family to live on one of the islands in 1827. He planted hundreds of coconut palms and brought in Malay workers to harvest the nuts, thus building a business by selling copra, the dried meat of the coconut fruit. In the beginning, Javanese convicts were used as laborers and crime of all kinds was rife before getting rid of the criminal class and bringing Malay workers. He and his family ruled the islands for the next 150 years undisturbed until in 1978 they sold the islands to the Commonwealth of Australia for 2.5 million pounds. West Island is the capital of the Cocos Keeling Islands. The population is roughly 120 and consists mainly of Europeans. The island is the least populous, but it used to be part of the Clooney's Ross plantation. Reportedly, the family still lives on the island. The place does have an airstrip built during World War II, a general store, government buildings and tourist accommodations, but that's pretty much it. It's the perfect place to escape the busy world we live in today. It's likely that you've heard very little or nothing about this incredible Australian destination, which has been called the last unspoiled paradise. Understandably, many activities center on the water, which is as blue as the sand is white. The only downside to visiting the Cocos is the distance. It requires a 4-hour flight to Perth from the east coast of Australia, from where you catch a flight to Cocos Keeling. But if you can stand that much time on a plane, flying in over the island's breathtakingly beautiful beaches offers a sight to behold. Surfing, kite surfing and snorkeling are major activities here. The scenery and lifestyle are pretty much what you expect from a tropical paradise. Even these small dots of paradise have seen war. On the morning of November 9, 1914, the islands became the site of the Battle of Cocos, one of the first naval battles of World War I. 
A landing party from the German cruiser Emden captured and disabled the wireless and cable communication station on Direction Island, but not before the station was able to transmit a distress call. An Allied troop convoy was passing nearby, and the Australian cruiser Sydney was detached from the convoy escort to investigate. Sydney spotted the island and Emden and prepared for battle. They defeated the Germans and afterwards provided medical assistance. The battle was a pretty big deal, because the Emden was the last active Central Powers warship in the Indian or Pacific Ocean, which meant troop ships from Australia and New Zealand could sail without naval escort, and Allied ships could be deployed elsewhere. Coco Skeeling played another major role in another event. It was this group of islands that led to Charles Darwin's formation of the theory of coral atoll formation in 1836. On his voyage home after a three-year journey aboard the HMS Beagle, Darwin stayed for only 10 days where he recorded evidence to support his theory of coral atoll formation. He concluded that the fringing reefs are converted into barrier reefs, and barrier reefs, when encircling islands, are thus converted into atolls. It was the only coral atoll he had ever visited to support his theory. Darwin's theory recognizes an evolutionary sequence by vertical reef growth from volcanic island fringing reefs to barrier reefs to coral atolls. These were 7 facts about Coco Skeeling Islands. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon. Link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.